Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently talked about Gemini Pro's checkpoint that is appearing on AI Studio, and two days after that video, Google stopped the checkpoint that I tested, and I was stoked, because that generally means that we'll get the model any moment. But Google is trying to milk the hype as much as they can at this moment, and they basically launched two new checkpoints in AI Studio. The X28 is mainly said to be the new checkpoint for the upcoming Gemini 3.0 Pro, and it is apparently even better than the 2HT checkpoint that I tested out in my last video. So, it obviously makes sense that I go to AI Studio and test this random model again with all my 11 questions, with a model that has a chance of appearing once in like 50 questions, even though it might just be a bit better. So, yeah, I did that. And let's talk about the new results. Now, not every AI model you need will be available in your region. Some are restricted, and that can really slow things down. That's why I use Surfshark VPN to get me going. With access to over 3,200 servers in more than 100 countries, accessing content from other regions, and finding the APIs you need for future projects has never been easier. And now, just for my viewers, you'll get four extra months when you use my code CodeKing at checkout. But that's not all. Connecting to servers around the world, or even public Wi-Fi, can put your security and privacy at risk. Surfshark protects your data from leaks, shields your personal information, and keeps your devices safe from malware. And the best part? You can use one Surfshark account across all of your devices, so you're always protected whether you're on desktop, mobile, or tablet. Oh, and did I mention? You can even browse the internet without ads or a digital footprint using Surfshark's private search engine. And don't worry, Surfshark never tracks your activity, as they've just passed another independent no-logs audit this June, so you can browse the internet with complete peace of mind. Use my code CodeKing for four extra months at checkout with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. There's also some more new stuff that I tried with it, apart from the benchmark questions. Those questions will probably be added to the benchmarks soon as well, but I haven't done that yet. Anyway, let's start with the floor plan. Just look at this. I mean, the previous checkpoint was already good, but this looks even better. This is much more cohesive and makes much more sense. The doors are placed correctly in the walls, and it all makes perfect sense, which is pretty great. The furniture design in it is also really very good. It has lighting controls allowing you to check how it would look at different times, and the shadows work accordingly. This layout is actually very similar to what we saw with the last generation in the last checkpoint, and I've seen this happen. It is actually very good at producing consistent responses. Like, one prompt goes in, and almost a similar thing comes out each time. The variance is a lot lower compared to Sonnet, which can give you a vast number of different responses for the same prompt. It might be something that they have done specifically because it has been an issue for most models. Another thing in this generation that I found interesting is that here you can drag around the furniture as well. It's just insane generation at this point. It's like 50% better than the previous one, and I like it. Now... Let's move to the SVG Panda. This looks amazingly good as well. It's much more cohesive and sticks to the prompt much better. It actually looks like the panda is eating the burger rather than just holding it, and the burger also looks really good. So, this is really good. Similarly, I also asked it for the Pokeball in 3.js, and well, it nailed it again. It looks really good. Previously, it was also good, however. Now it is much better. There are colors in the background. The colors look more cohesive. And it's just really good. This is really awesome. Similarly, I also asked it to make a Minecraft game. And it is again very similar. And it also has rivers and better lighting, which is pretty great to see. It looks really good. 
especially for a one-shot generation. It's really very good. Then we have the majestic butterfly flying in the garden. And well, it looks so good. I mean, it is just amazing. You can see the rocks, flowers, and the environment is pretty great. The butterfly clips sometimes, which is a bummer, but it's one of the best generations that I've seen yet. Then we have the CLI tool in Rust, and this also worked well. Then, the Blender script of the Pokeball was also very similar to the previous generation. So, this is great. These were the generations. It all looks really very good. I think that this checkpoint has about a 5% or 10% improvement over what I've seen from the last checkpoint. It's obviously a real leap from the models that we are seeing today, like Sonnet and stuff. This is more of like a Sonnet moment for me. Some more things that I tested include this generation, where I asked it to make me a simulation for degree of separation with nodes and a friendship slider. And well, it really nailed it on the first try. I'll probably add this question to the benchmark as well soon. Anyway, this is so good. You can regenerate the network, check with random selection, and it is just so aesthetic, and it works pretty accurately. So, this is really amazing, and it's all just one shot. It's so good. Most of the other models aren't really accurate, and most of them use that ugly purple hue and make something straight up that you can tell from a mile away was vibe-coded. But this just looks like something that isn't vibe-coded at all. It looks pretty good. It uses different fonts. It thinks through UI designing and stuff. I've always found their models to be great at UI designing, and this seems to be even better. I always like to use Gemini 2.5 Pro to convert screenshots into UI components because of how good it is at doing that. And this seems to be insanely good at UI. Like, it's something else. This model is actually something else altogether. It is just so good at everything that I throw at it, whether it be mathematics, coding, or whatever. I also wanted to test the tool calling capabilities, and I tried something where I used the human relay mode from Rue. And well, for the first request, the tool call was on point as well. In one request, you can't really make anything major in a tool call, so it worked well. But it'll be cool to see when it gets added into Gemini CLI, and if it remains free there, then it can be literally awesome. I really like this model, and I'm just hoping that it comes soon. Some people are saying that it might come today, but I think it'll be after a week or something now. It might be somewhere near the 20th of October. So, let's see what happens. I know for a fact that one model is coming this or next week, which is also from a good AI company. So, let's see if Google also launches it next week or not. I'm pretty stoked for this model considering the performance. I just hope it's at or lower than the price of Sonnet, and this will really bring back the 3.5 Sonnet days again. Google has really cooked, and I tested this new checkpoint and thought to talk about this as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.